guys welcome back to part two of the multi pocket folio I had named it a clutch and then I decided a folio is probably more appropriate so we're just going to get started today it's going to take some time but you guys have shared um, some feedback with me and I appreciate that that you guys like the longer videos and um, you prefer me to talk through things so We'll get done what we can get done today. It may just be a case of covering these with papers, but hey-ho, that's what we'll do. <clears throat> so we'll start with the front, which is this portion here. I, um, I consider that the front and that the back. So we will start getting some papers on this portion. Let me lift you up so you can see a little bit more. And I think what I've decided to do on this one is try to cover the majority with this turquoise print. And then I will come back over it and layer some pockets and things. Is That's my intention on this. So let me just cut my... Get the white bits off here, and then I will make a start on getting some of this covered. So I hope everybody is well. I hope you've had a nice weekend. I um, I didn't get much accomplished this weekend, unfortunately. But sometimes I think it's good to to just relax. Um, I did some reading. I told you guys I'm in, doing a lot of reading at the moment. And that's that's what I've been, kind of spent the weekend doing. Alright, so I'm just going to cover this portion. There's no point in covering this back bit here because that's going to be glued down. Um, and, you know, another thing you could... Oh yeah, that is going to form a pocket, I was going to say. Duh, sorry. I'm... Uh, it's been a little while since I made this, so I have to refresh my mind again. All right, so I'm just going to take this bit. I'm, I just recently bought these larger glue sticks, and i got to say I much prefer that to those small ones. It seemed like I was just getting through the small ones so quick, and that's made a big difference um, swapping over to that. So I'm just going to drop that down slightly beyond that bit. So yeah, we will just take this slow again and hopefully I won't um, bore you guys too much. <laughs> the problem is there's not anything really happening at the moment. I mean, nothing of any interest. You know, you know we're still... We had a big, um, we did a pretty good pack up this weekend, so the house is feeling really good. <laughs> and I don't know if I explained, where we're moving to is a temporary move. Um, we're waiting for Paul's visa. So, because it's temporary, we're not going to be putting anything up on the walls. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to cover this bit here. So, mm, it's going to be kind of a bummer, I think. Um, but, the weather's starting to change now, so I'm hoping that I can put my focus on just being outside as much as possible and maybe I won't notice it too much because um, that is <clears throat> the house is going to feel so empty because we're taking just the bare minimal like our bed, chest of drawer and then um, the sofa and TV unit and dining room table and chairs and that's and then of course my studio stuff so it's going to be a big, big change, yeah. Hmm. But 
I'm hoping, as I said, that it's just going to be, I'm hoping it's not going to be more than three or four months, but I don't know, because we still haven't even got his interview. He's, um, he's got to go for an interview, and, um, we still haven't got that portion of it resolved, so we'll, we'll just have to see. But what we're trying to do by doing it this way is, is when he gets the green card, then we can um, pack up everything from that house to go into, we've got a storage unit, and then um, get our flight booked home. <laughs> Uh, I try not to think about it too much. I, I just, uh, I can't allow myself I, at this point to to start thinking in that, you know, you just, because you're just always thinking, is something going to happen? And you know, I just, yeah, I know you're not supposed to worry, but it, gosh, it's hard not to. So, yeah, that's our thinking on that. So, hopefully this summer, <coughs> I'm going to, um, Let me have a look here at what I did on this one. Um, you know, I'd like to spend it trying to get kind of in shape because I've put on a lot of weight during this lockdown. I think everybody has. I, I know a lot of people are saying it's, it's you know, it's just been so stressful. So that's what I'd like to spend the time <coughs> doing. Um, I think I'll go with a... Something I don't want to overdo it. So this one and this. Actually, I'll go. I'll go ahead and put the turquoise on that one as well. I should have just did that in one large piece. Ooh, I wasn't thinking. Yeah, I should have done. Hey ho. That might be wide enough. Okay, well, I'm just going to go ahead and get this down. Uh, so, yeah, um, it's a shame all the work I did on this garden last year is just, um, you know, yeah, it's kinda, I'm kind of sad about that because I worked really hard to get that ground. Oh, the soil was terrible. And I really feel like this year we would have just started getting the benefit from it. But that's the way these things go, doesn't it? That's the way it goes. I can't tell you how many times I've started over. It's, um, I think it's my gypsy spirit, but I will tell you guys, I'm hoping this is the last. Well, I'll have one more move, obviously. Um, when we get to the States, we'll have to find a place, but, um, yeah, I'm kind of getting tired now of starting and stopping. It's, um, I thought about, you know, you wake up at night and you think about these things, and I thought, man, all the time that I poured in, because every place I go to, I really, I love, I love a beautiful yard. And every place I've went, I thought, oh, I'm going to have, like, an English. I love the old English gardens with, like, lilac. You know, just the old um, type flowers, I think they call them. You know, it's kind of like an old style, the lilacs and things. And, and every place I, I think, oh, this is it. You know, and you, you try to fix it up. And then you move away and you think, I, th I was w awake the other night and I thought, boy, all the time that I spent on um, every place I went trying to do that, if I could reclaim that time back, I'd probably add 10 years onto my life, honestly. But you live and learn. I mean, they, this is it. When you get older, you, you learn so much and you, you try to 
get your kids and let them learn from your mistakes, but they don't listen, do they? No, they're going to do it themselves, so. And I guess we probably didn't want to listen to our parents either, but. But yeah, this is the stuff I think about at night. I think, oh gosh, I, uh, I really wish I could get that time back. Okay, I'm going to have to cut this one uh, three and three quarter, five. And no doubt when I get over to this place, I'm already taking some pots. So I was talking to Paul this morning. I said, hey, you know, what do we do? Because we don't know how long it's going to be. And he said, you know, Jan, he said, Look, we're just going to go ahead and treat it like we're going to be here. So um, we're going to get just some pretty potted plants because I can't live without color. So, you know, I said, well, I guess when we leave, we'll just have to dump them because I'm taking our pots, you know, we're putting those in the unit. I got a unit, we're going to have a unit here, and then I've got my unit back in Tallahassee, which is, I've got to tackle that when I get back. So, what I think we'll do I'm sorry if this is boring, guys, but I just don't know what else to talk about, really, without getting into topics that can be, you know, some people don't want to hear about politics and all, so I'm sorry if this is boring, but I'll tell you what my plan is. So we're going to try to get in to, um, we'll have to fly into Orlando. This is all assuming that Daisy is still alive, right? And this is a whole nother set of problems. Is she's got to get a fit for flight. And I did not really want to move her again. I did not think, honestly, she this was going to be something we'd have to work on. So, you know, we felt terrible about having to put her through another flight. But the good thing is she's deaf. She's almost deaf now. So I actually think um, that she's done this flight so many times, I think she'll go to sleep. You know, they put them in with the cargo, but they keep it temperature controlled because um, she'll have to go on a, on a flight that will keep the cargo at a certain temperature. So I think she'll sleep through it. So because of that, we've got to get a nonstop flight. Um, so we're going to go direct from here to Orlando. And then when we get there, we've got to rent a car because I don't even own a car now in the U.S. Um, I got rid of it. I had had the same car for um, 20 years. And when we came back to the U.K. last time, um, I just I went ahead and sold it because it was getting so old and... Um, there's no place for me to leave a vehicle down there now anyways. Plus, you got to keep it insured. You know, it was just trying to, to, to save money. So, <clears throat> when we get back, we've got to rent a car. <laughs> we've got to rent a car. And what we're thinking is Orlando is bigger than Tallahassee. So, I think what we're going to do... I'm just flipping through these pages, guys, trying to decide on some... What I want is my background for all of this. Gosh, these are beautiful papers. I think I might even go with that. Oh, that's a pretty one. All right. And that's nice. All right, I'm going to use these three and just mix it up. So, <clears throat> so when we're in Orlando, 
and we'll fly into there. We'll have to get days. And we'll actually, we'll have to get a rental car. Then you go to a different facility where she goes into and they monitor her and then we have to collect her from there. So, um, so that will be the first thing that we do. And then we're going to stay in Orlando um, probably a week because what I want to do is we want to find a vehicle in Orlando to purchase. That way we can turn the car back into the airport. <sighs> so it's, um, I'm excited about it. Like I said, I try not to think about it too much because I feel like you might jinx things. Um, but it, it is quite stressful, let me tell you. Traveling with a dog, I mean, travel anyways. I don't like flying in airports. Oh my gosh, they make me, you know, it's just like hurry up and wait, hurry up and wait. And so you're stressed out anyways. And then you got the dog and you're thinking, oh man, she's been locked up now for with the flight and the time you have to drop her prior to the flight, she ends up being in the crate. <sighs> She'll end up probably about 15 hours, you know, in the crate. Um, we were fortunate last time when we flew her from Orlando back here. She flew out of, I think it's Sanford, Florida, and um, we didn't even know that. We were we thought she was going to Orlando International, which is where we flew out of, and the night before I checked, I was like, Paul, she's not flying out of the same airport. So it took us like an extra two hours to get her up to her airport and then us get back to ours. But the woman was so, so nice there. She was, um, we, you know, she knew how long Daisy was going to be. Because um, it was a really small airport and where we dropped her, she knew we were really stressing. And she said, you know, if you guys are okay, she said, I'm happy to keep her in the office here. We were like, oh my gosh, you're so sweet. So she stayed um, with her right up she said I'll keep her right up until they load her up and we were like oh thank you so much and you know that just put me at ease for the rest of the flight um sorry I'm chattering I've got to write this down or I won't remember um so that was a big help but we're not probably not going to have that. We might. I don't know. I hope not because um, if she goes into that airport, oh my gosh, we'd have to drive from Orlando up to that airport, then back down to accommodation. So it would it would be a pain. So I'm hoping that she'll just go into Orlando um, with us. All right. Let me just trim this. But yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be a lot to sort out. Cause once we <coughs> hopefully can buy a vehicle in Orlando, then oh, I I've cut that wrong. You know what? Actually, that's fine. So once we've done that, we turn the car back in. Then we're going to, I'm probably going to go up to my daughter's because I want to see her first. Um, so I'll probably go to Tallahassee and stay a night or two with, with her. Um, or, you know, I mean, I, we probably can't stay with her. Um, she lives, <coughs> Nikki lives in a... Um, They've got one, a fifth wheel, her and her husband. So they live in that, and they don't really, they've got two dogs as well. So I'm like, oh, I don't think I want to sleep with three dogs. Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't want to be in the living room with three dogs. So we probably won't stay 
we'll have to get a accommodation. But I think I want to go there first and see her a couple of days. And then we go to my dad's, who's in Albany, Georgia. Um, so that's like another about two and a half hours from Tallahassee to get up to my dad's. And that's where we'll base ourselves for a little while. Because um, I want to spend some time with him. And it's kind of convenient because from his place, you know, I can always go down to Nikki and stay a night. Or she can come up to Grandpa's and stay on the weekend when she's not working. She can come up there because he's got three bedrooms so we can always put down an air mattress for her and her husband. So at that point, we'll just see. We'll see what happens. We'll be based there uh, probably about a month and then um, and then I don't know. We're just going to have to to see how things all pan out. Okay, I'm trying to decide. I kind of think it might be pretty to put the same... No, I don't have enough of that. Oh, I don't know. I kind of want something contrasting on that. I'm just wondering. I'll use this one. This is, um, hmm, it's kind of a blue purple, but I think that will, I just think it, I want to break it up a little bit, so. So yes, guys, <clears throat> I don't know how it's all going to work out. I really don't, but the plan <laughs> is, um, that, and this is the other thing, I'm starting to dwindle down to taking, um, because I'm going to still be journal making you know I mean that's 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 what I do <laughs> so I'm trying to dwindle down my supplies to the point that I can have them with me mobile um, because I want to go see my son in DC Paul's boy and his fiance are in Ottawa Canada um, so obviously we want to get up and see them but I've got to be able to to still create journals. It's, it's going to be a hoot to see if I can do it. Um, but I've got to try to be able to wait, find a way of making it on just very little supplies because I, I need to take my inks, my stamps, my <laughs> big shot, although I am going to do, I'm going to get a different, um, oh, let me tell you this. I tried it out here um, and decided, rather than toting it back to the U.S., I'll just wait and buy it over there. Uh, we Are Memory Keepers does a compact um, embossing machine called Evolution. Oh my gosh, guys, it is awesome. Absolutely awesome. In fact, to be quite honest, I think it might be better than the Big Shot. The platforms fold up. Look for it. Do a search on Google um, or whatever search engine you use, I shouldn't say Google, um, whatever search engine, it's called We Are Memory Keepers Evolution. That little machine is amazing, and it takes up very little space. And like I said, I wished I had a, uh, purchased it here, but the, it's just the weight to, you know, i got to get everything back there, and I don't want to spend all that extra money on shipping because i got to have it this time. It can't go with my stuff. So do check that out, guys, because that is um, an awesome, awesome little piece of um, tool kit. If you are just starting out and you maybe you're like me, you've got a real small crafting space, um, that little machine is jammed up, and you can adjust the the platform height depending on whether you're using um, your embossing or if you're using the, the little metal dies or if you're using the platform like the Sizzix platform um, tools. It, it's really really nice so I'm going to order that when I get over there and um, so this is where my head is again. It's like okay what can I still produce uh, journals? 
Of course I can. I'm, I'm convinced I can do it. It's just going to be different. It's going to be very different. I'm going to be doing it uh, probably on, on the picnic table outside, which is going to be exciting because you know how I like to be outside. It's just going to be different. It's going to be more work for sure, but, but that's not going to stop me from doing it. So, so there, you, you know, that kind of gives you guys a, a, an insight as to why my brain is all over the place at the moment because I'm thinking about the move here, temporary, but I'm also thinking, okay, what do I absolutely have to have in order to still be able to create journals? So, um, and I'm taking my slow stitching stuff because that is, you know, kind of like my in, hobby for enjoyment at the moment. So that's super important to me to carry on with that. Okay, isn't that pretty now? with that little bit of contrast peeking through. Of course, that'll get covered when we fill it up. But So now what I want to do is just get these two sections. Um, and I, again, I'm inclined to go with something different. I think I might carry on with that pattern there. And then... Um, let me see. Sorry, guys. I just want to see. I've forgotten what all I put in here. You know, we were going to tweak this one, I think we said, and maybe do a couple of flaps that will fold in. Let's do that before I cover it, but I'm just trying to see. That was a belly band, so a lot of that is going to show. Okay, just trying to get my mind. All right, I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of things here, guys, because we're going to make this one slightly different. So... <clears throat> Do I want to go? Yeah, I'm going to go five inches, assuming that I'm going to take probably a half of an inch as a hinge. And then this, I want to just make sure that's slightly under, so three and three quarter. Okay, so let me show you what we're going to do there, which is going to mean we've got more papers we're going to have to use. Okay, if you've got an abundance of file folders, I would probably say cut up some for, the, for this. But I don't, I'm, I'm really down to just a few. And you can't get them in the UK without paying silly money. Um, so what I'm going to do, guys, is tweak it using my cardstock. Uh, which is slightly thinner, but I'm not worried about it because we're going to cover it with paper and it'll bulk up. Sorry, guys, I just see we are almost out of time. So I will be right back. Okay. So as I said, let's make this uh, five inches. Actually, I'll do that. It doesn't look straight to me. By three and three quarter. And then I'm going to put a score line at about a half of an inch. Okay, so what that's going to do then, oops, let me just make sure I like the way that looks. I might, I might cut one of them down if I'm not happy with that. I'm actually fine with that. I'm going to, um, I'll cover the, cover the, these with paper and then I will round the corners. But let's just go ahead and get those glued. Um, actually, 
actually, you know what, I'll cover them with paper first and then glue those down. So, sorry guys, I'm getting warm. Alright, so, so we've got those. We'll add that. I just want to make sure which paper I want to put. I don't know if I want to carry on with this pattern. paper so I'm gonna put that over okay I'm gonna use this we know that's five inches wide I'm just gonna go ahead and do that as one strip Seven and three quarter by five. Okay. All right. We'll get that down. To, um, that. I'm not going to worry about, I'll, I'll cover that because we've got a pocket that's going to go there. Actually, I do have to get those covered first, yep, because I want that to go behind that paper. So, if that is there... That's going to be there. some of this. <clears throat> okay, let me make sure I get this the right direction. she left that image there just black. I don't know, I just really, I just really like it. I think it makes that stand out beautifully. Okay. Yeah, I just want to make sure I do this in the right order, guys, because I do tend to get ahead of myself, and then I'm like, ah, oh, it just creates more work, doesn't it? When you mess up, so the other side I'll have to, um, a piece of pattern on as well. So yeah, another thing that um, won't happen this year, obviously, but um, we are going to be doing some seasonal work, uh, Paul and I, so probably the following summer. You know, I hate to say that we're going to do it, because that's assuming a lot, isn't it? But that's the plan, is to um, to work 
<clears throat> out west somewhere. <clears throat> I don't know, a ranch or I don't know. I mean, one job we were even thinking about, and it wouldn't be the first summer that we're out, or not not the first summer, but the second. At some point, I wouldn't mind working up in Alaska. I just really would love to do something, especially as a husband and wife. I think it would be super cool if we could um, go to Alaska and work. I always wanted to live there, to be honest, but... Um, at this point, uh, I know that I wouldn't do that now with the kids. I've been uh, too far from the kids yeah, as it is, and they moved to Alaska. I just never see them. They, my kids don't like cold weather. Neither. Of them. I mean, Nikki, Nikki enjoys it, but they, they'll never leave down there because Matthew's from, um, he's from the Tallahassee area, so. So yeah, that's kind of out of the question now. So so I'm just thinking, oh man, can I get a job out in Alaska for the summer? That would be so cool. <laughs> so cool. Okay, I'm liking that because <clears throat> those are going to open up and I'm going to round those. So now I just got to decide. I'm going to use this as the backing because here's my thinking on this. We'll either add a couple of pockets or we could leave that blank for somebody to add a couple of photographs. That would look good. Okay, so let's just jump on in and get those covered. And then um, I think when we got the papers on this, we will call this part two, guys, because we're going to be close on, um, gosh, it'll probably be close on an hour by the time we've done this, so we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so anyways, that's uh, that's the other thing that's in the plans is, um, you know, I mean, we can't, we can't be retired. Paula and I will never be retired. <laughs> um, it's just, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's just the way life has worked out for us, but that's okay. I'm not going to complain about it. I've made a deal with the Lord if he'd let me. Let me have the strength to work, uh, work till they put me in the ground. That's all right with me. Um, we're we're kind of hyper people, anyways. We get bored sitting around. It, it, it's just not something that either of us, you know, appeal. It just doesn't appeal. I'd rather be out and uh, doing something really. So. That's uh, what we're going to try to start doing is some seasonal jobs because <clears throat> between us, if we both do, uh, most of the jobs are like five, six months. If we do that and you, can f and you follow through, you usually get a nice bonus at the end as well. So... If we can save all of the money, or most of the money, while we're working, then um, that should just about see us through the year. Um, you know, because we don't, we don't spend very much, to be honest. We, we just kind of homebodies. So that's that's kind of what we're we're aiming towards is just doing if we can do seasonal work and then I'll still carry on with my journals because I love doing that and that would give me all winter I can uh, I can make my journals the only thing we're worried about and it is a major worry is insurance. Um, because I, I've been fortunate. My health is pretty good, but Paul, uh, with his diabetes, it's, it does worry, worry me. 
the insurance in the U.S. I mean, I did a search yesterday, guys. It was crazy. For a policy for two people, $1,500 a month for for medical insurance. And that's with a, almost, it was an, for an, one person, the deductible is 8500 And then for two would be, what, $17,000 deductible in addition to $1,500 a month. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I mean, to be honest. If that's what we're looking at for medical insurance, I think I'll just have to go ahead and, and go back to work full time just for the insurance because I can't, I, I can't afford, I mean, $1,500 a month, people don't even make that, <laughs> you know, it just, I just can't believe it, it it's just crazy, absolutely crazy. So that's a big factor, you know. It's, that will dictate a lot about what we end up doing there. Um, but you're limited at our age on what, who's going to even hire, you know, somebody. It's all well and good to say, oh, well, that's what I'm going to do, but it's not that easy, especially since COVID. So many people out of work. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to have to be guided and just take it a day at a time is what I think. But, you know, I don't know about you guys, but I'm just so tired of living in fear. I'm just sick to death of worrying about <coughs> things. <laughs> you know, medical insurance, keeping a job. It's just, uh, you just think, man... I just, I just want to enjoy a little bit of time without fear. All right, I'm going to make that pocket there. Let me clip those. So yeah, this is the stuff that's going through my mind, guys. It's just, it just always trying to balance, you know, a quality of life with doing the right thing for your family and... Um, how, how, how to work it all out, and I don't have an answer for it. I'm just hoping that um, it works out. But sometimes things are just out of our hands, aren't they? <gasps> I've done it. Oh, guys, how could I hit? This is why I can't be talking. Doggone it. I sure enough did that. Can I pull it up? I can't believe I sat there and said, oh, I'm going to go put that down. <laughs> oh, dear. You know what? It's already coming up. <sighs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I bet you guys were sitting there thinking, Gina, what are you doing? All right, so what I'm going to have to do, guys, it's just, this, this, is a, this is what happens most of the time, I'll be honest. I'm just going to get it down, and then I'm going to have to lay another piece of paper. What a shame. All right. But that's okay. That's okay. Let me get this one down as well, and then we'll, we'll just have to cover that up. I hate to because that was such a pretty piece as well, but that's what happens. Chatter, chatter, chatter. So that's going to be quite a, a nice little flip, and then I'll put a tab on this side. But let me sort out my mess here, guys. Gosh, you could have told me. <laughs> you guys should have told me. <laughs> All right, let me choose another image. It's going to have to be that one. I mean, I wouldn't have to. I could just blaze something, but what's the point? I might as well just go ahead and, and do it. Um... I think we said five. Gosh, I hate that I did that. So that's now four and seven eighths. Because what I'm I'm not going to completely cover. It's the problem. What did I say? Four and seven eighths and three and seven eighths.
I do love the color combination on this one. It's so different. Um, it, it's just a very different to me, the colors. And I love it because those are my colors there. Yeah, doggone, it's going to show a little bit of that. But um, what I want to make sure is that this isn't interfering with it closing. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good there. All right, let's get that down. <laughs> Try it again. But yeah, I wish I wish I was going to be out there this summer to do uh, a seasonal job. To be honest, because um, I mean I don't even know if they're doing them now with COVID. I, it probably varies from state to state, but I doubt Colorado's probably not there. But I don't know. I haven't looked. Um, just have to see. I'm gonna I'm gonna ink this. A bit here. I don't want to see those edges. Um, so yeah, I'll have to do some research. But I, I wasn't too bothered because I knew there was no way that this uh, visa was going to be sorted before. Because uh, they want you, most of those jobs want you in like May. <clears throat> but I'm kind of excited about because Nikki did that a couple of, mm, gosh, actually it's gone. A couple of years ago, it was 2013, holy cow, talk about a few years, I can't believe it. it, seems like just yesterday, but she went out and worked on a dude ranch in Durango, Colorado, and uh, I'm going to put a little tab there, <clears throat> so she said one of the ladies that was out there was like, at that time, you know, she was just a little bit older than me, and she was um, the baker, I was like, oh my gosh, maybe I could do that. Um, and then, you know, because Nikki, she knows I, I like baking and stuff. So I thought, well, if I could get on as a baker and Paul could do the maintenance, the only thing is I don't want to work six days a week. Nikki had to work six days a week. And so that's the other thing is I'm happy to do five days a week, but I ain't working those six days a week. Not at this point in life, no. So that might be, it might not be that easy to find either because you got young kids that, that can do it. I can't do it now, guys. I'll be straight up. I cannot be on my feet for 10 hours a day for, for six days a week. I just can't do it now. Um, so that'll be the other thing is where we can find work. Oh, isn't that sweet? So that's going to flip over. Mm, I could have added a tab there, but I'm not going to. It might get in the way of closing it. So see, this is what we've <clears throat> we've done differently. And I, I really am glad I went ahead and did that with this one. How fun. So we've got pocket here. Um, we can think about this. Now I do know, yeah, I can see that. I've got to get out a bit more glue there. I'm going to put a belly band in, in this portion. I'll do a little belly band. And then we'll decide if we want to add some pockets to that or not. But I kind of like it like that. I don't know. So here, let's think. Let me see how I've done this. Two. Two pockets here. The belly band. A pocket. We're going to want to do a, a side pocket here. Is there anything else? Um, okay, what I, oh, I remember now. I need to get these put on, guys, because that's going to punch through. Yep, okay, well, let me do that, and then we're going to call this quits on this portion. Um, yeah, I messed up there, because when I poke that through now, it's going to show here, but... 
hopefully the belly band might disguise that. We'll have to see. So do be aware of that. I'm sure you guys probably are. You probably were screaming at, at me at that point as well. <laughs> Why don't you get those brads in there? Um, all right, let me get a couple of these cut out. I like to use this heavier weight um, for those. And I think, I'll tell you what, I'll leave those closed. Or open, I meant, because I'm going to want that. I'm going to aim that to be center because I know I want to try to cover that as much as I can with um, the belly band, right? Okay, so I want to cover these with something that's going to coordinate really pretty with that. I kind of like the writing on that. And I think. That might be nice just to have that. Yeah, I think that's okay, isn't it? So let me get that glued and then we'll get those in. And gosh, I can't believe uh, it took that long just to get the papers. So, really, the next um, we can finish this in probably. This is part two. I'm gonna say part I'm gonna say four parts because we will the next one put the pockets and then we'll spend some time on doing some uh, journal cards and tags um, with this kit because it's we've got to make um, a lot of these because this kit was just the papers if I'm not mistaken now don't uh, hold me to that because what I might have done was just printed the papers and go back but I'll have to check and see I don't know if this kit had um, if it had any kind of journal cards or not I'm gonna have to look at that normally um, Artie Mays is very generous on that, but I do know she has had a few kits in the past that have just been papers, and that could have been what I got with this. I just am, I, I can't remember, to be honest with you. All right, let's get this on here. You know... actually think I'm going to cover it with this. I, I like this pattern against that. So I'm going to do that guys. Sorry. I just, I just think it looks a little bit nicer. That seemed a bit plain to me. So yeah, uh, when I come back to the next portion, I will let you know um, about that kit. But I if I'm not mistaken, I think this was just papers. Um, but I would say that the Purple Medley kit, which is the one that I used, um, this one, I've got some, let me see here guys, I've got a few things left over from that that might, see I think that will go as well. So bear that in mind, the purple medley, you could uh, take, and that's a very big kit, you could take some of that. Alrighty, let's get this on here. Oh, so pretty. It was beautiful blue skies this morning, and now it's turned gray again, so I don't know. All right, <clears throat> this one, I'm going to try to put it about there, but I'm telling you, I'm not going to punch it all the way through, guys. In fact, let me just 
because that's got two layers. where I want to get it and then I'll okay because I don't want to punch all the way through that I'm just going to pull that here so yeah do be aware of that guys you want to do this before you get that paint that would be three times three times I will have covered that with paper, but luckily the belly band is um, is gonna cover that. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, it would be the third layer. How ridiculous. Anyways, it is what it is. Okay, so we've got that portion. Uh where's my thread here? am I doing on time? Oh my gosh, nearly got through. And I haven't even done that other bit, guys. Actually, this may, it may go into five parts. I forgot. I've only done one section of this. It ain't even done. Oh well. This is, this is why, I, I guess this is probably why um, I'm always a little hesitant on the chatter because I do get so distracted, guys, honestly. Um, as you, I think you can see, but that's bulked that out uh, really nice now. That bottom portion, oh, I love this kit. Very pretty, and what I might, I'll leave that because we may put a charm on this one dangling at the end. So that's, <coughs> that's the front portion done, guys. Okay, so let me come back and um, in part two, we'll carry on with the back. I'm going to leave it there, guys, because this is going to be a long video. The problem is the longer the videos are, the, the longer it takes for it to upload. So the next portion, what we will do is we'll cover this, get this intact, and then we've got a couple of pockets inside we've still got to add to it. So we'll work on that. And then possibly one or two, well, at least one more portion. But we'll see. Okay, guys, take care. See you soon.